Hi, welcome to the Air Manager API tutorial video series. In this video, we're going to look at sound. So here we are again on the uh, Wiki API page, and we're going to focus in, as I said, on sound and these four functions here. Very straightforward. Um, have a quick look at the uh, add to begin with similar to a lot of the structure of um, many of the other functions um, in so much as you create an ID uh, at the beginning uh, that you can refer to later with uh, some of the other functions you do your sound add you add in the file name of the um, sound clip uh, and then you have this optional um, argument for volume. So let's delve straight into the code window and see uh, what that actually does in the real world. So here I have uh, some sample uh, code that I've already uh, keyed into the code window uh, here. Um, there's our sound ID um, that we saw in the example there on the wiki page and then we say sound add uh, alarm.wav is the name of my um, little um, sound clip file and I've said there comma one for a uh, volume of one the volume ranges between zero and one so any number uh, you, you want to play with uh, there it's going to be difficult for me uh, to show you necessarily the volume uh, control there but um, you can leave that uh, option that that comma and that additional one off if you want and uh, it literally will just load the uh, the sound file up and you don't need to worry about the volume but if you wanted tones maybe at different volume levels um, you could play around with the volume there to uh, make that number 0.5 or, or whatever you wanted um, so after the initial uh, loading of the um, the sound oh, the other important thing to mention um, is that the alarm.wav file is stored in the um, resources folder uh, same place as you put your images when we're dealing with images so the uh, sound files go in there too so now we've created this uh, ad we can manipulate it uh, with our ID here uh, and the three functions that we use to do that are sound play sound loop and sound stop so play and stop are uh, fairly uh, intuitive and straightforward in terms of what they do uh, and loop um, we'll just uh, essentially do the same as play, but it will continually keep looping that sound over and over. So if the clip only lasts for three or four seconds, it will just keep looping that uh, uh, continually until we apply the sound stop. So let's put that into practice, what we do. So and this, first of all, we're just going to try sound play. Now I think this clip is about five or six seconds long. So when I um, just do a play at the moment, I've got these two commented out at the moment, it should just play for its duration and then stop. So let's go ahead and try that. Hopefully you can hear that. And there you go, it stops. So that, as I say, that clip's only about five or six seconds. Um, it plays and then it stops. If I now choose to do the, um, the loop um, function, we see what happens now. So it plays. I think it probably would have stopped by now had it been the sound play. You can see that it's not actually stopping. It's just continually looping. And it will carry on to loop until uh, we apply the stop or we turn the instrument off. Oh, that's a high pitched sound. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to leave the loop in there and we're going to show how the uh, how the stop works so what I've set up here is just a little timer um, that um, waits uh, 2000 milliseconds so two seconds uh, it'll only do it the once because there's no um, repetition uh, period in here so it's it's not going to try and repeat it's just going to do this uh, this this timer once and then it's basically going to run this um, sound stop function using the same set sound ID so if we uncomment that now we'll see that um, when we play this now after two seconds we should hear the sound stop so let's give that a go 
there you go so much shorter because we only uh, applied the 2000 there. Now you can use the stop with the play too uh, so if you used it with play and you applied stop before the play uh, the length of the clip was to be complete then it would just stop after however long you've told it to stop for. Um, if you use the stop immediately after the play or the loop then you won't hear anything because the code runs so quickly that literally it will just go straight into the play and then straight into the stop so you need some kind of a time delay between uh, the two or of course you can activate the sound play and the sound stop with a, a trigger from a function when an event uh, so that sound you heard there I use for an alarm um, um, when a particular uh, event happens I'd, I trigger uh, a function that basically comes in and plays that sound um, to play an alarm and I have a way of uh, pushing a button to turn the sound off to to acknowledge the fact that the alarm has gone off so you can use buttons to turn the sounds on you can use function calls uh, however you want really so that's uh, the sound then just one other little uh, quick use let's uh, let's comment all of these out there so we're not using uh, any of those at the top there so we've still got our original um, sound add uh, at the very beginning of the code there but now what we're going to do is we're gonna um, I've set a little uh, another little timer up here just to show you uh, sort of thing you can do is uh, this timer now um, starts immediately at zero but then every 1000 milliseconds so every second um, it's going to run uh, the code within uh, here so essentially what we do is we toggle this uh, state every time by just not stating it so um, it will just keep toggling between true and false every uh, second here and then we basically say uh, if it's true uh, play the sound and if it's false stop the sound so we should get an alternate um, on off on off on off of the sound when we uh, play the clip so just to give a demonstration of um, what you can do with this with the uh, sound by turning it turning it on and off so there you go um, fairly straightforward you can play around with the timers or you can use different um, turn that off <laughs> or, or you can use different um, triggers to uh, to start those sounds on and off so that's fairly straightforward that's all there is really to uh, the sound function very similar to images and some of the other ones in terms of uh, creating the ID at the beginning and then doing the add and then using the ID as a reference to some of the other functions um, to uh, play uh, loop or stop thanks for watching this video um, there'll be more to come see you again soon thanks bye